Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching A Ritter Bit Will Do, and today we're dealing with some fuel cans. This project is about a year in the making, so stick around, find out what we do. Remember the video where I was cleaning up my mower deck and I used this FVP engine degreaser on it to get rid of some stuff? It works great. I used it on this fuel can. This fuel can was, this whole front of it was just black, caked with grease and dust and sawdust. It was horrible. It was barely yellow. I let the degreaser sit on there for a little bit. I scrubbed it down with a scrub brush and it looks great. You can even see, if you look real close, you can see I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get this part back here. Right? I only got the really bad parts that are over here, but now I kind of wish I would have done the whole thing. Hey, that's not what this is about though. Okay, I got two fuel cans here, all right? This one's a little bit better than this one because this one's got this horrible, horrible nozzle on it. Remember a year ago when I was doing a flail mowing uh, project and I needed to fuel up my, uh, my tractor and I was using this thing and it was taking forever and ever? Yes, I have the worst gas, not gas, fuel can ever invented right here. Don't get one of these stupid things. And don't go suggesting to me that I should get one of those battery operated pump things for 50, 60 bucks. I'm not interested in a 50, 60 dollar solution. I'm interested in a five dollar solution. That's like the most I'll spend, okay? Otherwise it's not worth it to me. <laughs> so these things, they're stupid, they're bad, horrible. Throw them away, don't use them. I don't know why I haven't yet. Maybe I just need to drill some vent holes and get those vent caps. Well, I'm finally getting around to fixing that problem. So <laughs> I wanted to wait for a time where I was actually kind of out of fuel where I could pour one you know, can of fuel into the other or the tractor and have these empty. Today's that day, so we're gonna do that. So what do we got going on? I was able to go online and of course you can find anything online and, and I found these little vent caps, all right? the simplest solution. Now a lot of you guys had ideas for me of different styles of fuel cans and and this and that but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I wanted to spend about five bucks, get me a variety of these things, install them on the fuel cans that I already have and make it work a little bit better. So that's all we're doing. This should be a simple little solution. I'm just gonna drill a, drill a hole in my fuel can. In fact I'm gonna put two. I'm gonna put two of these in each fuel can because why not? I got plenty of them. So that's what we're doing. So we've got a half inch bit here on the drill and uh, yeah this is mainly a, a wood bit but I'm actually thinking that it's going to work really good because of the way that it's designed. It's got the little uh, the screw end and the, the kind of the cutter and I think it's going to pull all of the uh, plastic pieces away from the hole up and out instead of possibly falling in. So uh, I think it's going to work best and what we're going to do is we're going to put one here we're going to put one there and uh, just need a half inch for these things. It lines up just right. So let's give it a try. Let's see. This is a nice spot right there. All right. I think think all of the plastic pieces came up and out because uh, there's one down there now we'll get that out later um, so this should just pop right in here come on there we go yeah that fits nice <laughs> piece of cake all right very happy with that I'm um, putting another one in see if I can get it symmetrical Let's see. I'm a little bit uh, OCD about this guy, so there, I think that's about right, right there. Maybe. Okay. A piece of plastic inside, but we will get that out for sure this in here press that in and done how does that look huh beautiful there now we're vented 
boom, boom, pour. Simple. Love it. We'll do the same to this one. So there's my solution for you. You got a fuel can, you need to vent it easily. Go online, get yourself some of these. I didn't pay more than five, ten dollars at the most for these. Um, I think there's 20 of them in here. So if you've got a lot of fuel cans, go nuts. Get them all vented. The, uh, the fuel spouts that they put on the fuel cans these days are just absolutely terrible. I mean, look at this thing. This is just, this is a joke. This is just an absolute joke. It doesn't work very well. It's not vented very well. I hate it. Yeah, it might be up to whatever regulation, but um, to heck with the regulations. I want my fuel cans to actually work. <laughs> All right, for more tips like this, subscribe to the channel. Uh, just a short video here for you guys. Um, the best thing you can do for me is just hit that thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Leave a comment if you got a question or an experience with fuel cans that are absolutely driving you crazy. I'd, I'd love to read it. Uh, so, as always, until next time, keep on tractoring and God bless.